In this video we are going to talk about one interesting fact about every mission in Grand Theft Auto 4. The opening of the Rockstar game Red Dead Redemption mirrors this mission. John Marston and Nico arrives by a boat, and a car is lifted off the boat by a crane. If the player arrives at the hardware store with the wanted level, it will disappear once Roman heads inside. Nico, wait for me here while I go inside to clean up. Get in, ladies. Hey Nico, thanks for If the player exits the car and re-enters, Michelle will react as if Nico is carjacking the vehicle. Hi, how are you? I gotta get my nails done, Nico. If the player points any weapon at Michelle's head, she will just crouch but remain happy. It was a misunderstanding. Oh! Hey! Shit! At the beginning of the mission, Darden's car is invincible, even to RPG shots, and the player cannot drive it. Abandoning Roman's car will fail the mission. The game will say that Jermaine had been abandoned, even when Jermaine had not been picked up yet. Go pick up my friend little Jacob. He's a good man. He likes to smoke a bit. Look after him. He's on Oneida Avenue in South Slopes. Roman says little Jacob is at Oneida Avenue in South Slopes, but Oneida Avenue is in Outlook. And Jacob's standing in front of the entrance of Outlook Park. You think this door is going to save your shop? There's shit I can break out here. The player does not have to use the provided brick to break the window. Player can instead use a gun, a melee weapon, or Nico's fist to break the window. Get away from me! Stop it, shit brain! I pay up now! I pay up! If the player blocks the back door with a vehicle, the laundromat owner will somehow get through the vehicle. I have a message from Vlad. Shit! Stay away from me! In the first cut scene, there's a reference to the movie, Midnight Cowboy, where Vlad yells at the taxi, I'm walking here. My nose bleeding. No, not yet. Fuck this. Come on! Wait! I'm walking here! Wait the fuck Let's go! Up. Hey! I'm walking here! I'm walking here! Up your ass, you son of a bitch! You don't talk me that way! Get out of here! The mission's title is an obvious reference to Ivan the Terrible, a former ruler of Russia. Get up. The player cannot access the roof to the gang member's apartment in this mission. But he can do it before and after this mission.
my friends will track you down. You won't last a moment. This is the only time that Vlad appears outside of cutscenes. I wish I could be there to watch Mikhail cut your peasant balls up. You are nothing in this city. You will be crashed. You've killed yourself and your cousin Yokel. You Hope Beach is a small place. My friends will find you. You were the stupid one, Vladdy boy. Man, get out of there. You smell like cabbage. I don't want to, man. I'm shitting myself. Oh! Get out of the dumpster, Mr. Fat Man. Come on, Fatty. The boss wants a little chat. No matter which van Nico pulls over first, the van will never contain the flat screens. Get out of there, you're fucking dead. I don't want no trouble, buddy. Are you carrying a shipment of TVs? Hey, you got bad information, brother. Fuck, get out of here. After getting out of the shop, if the player tries to go to Algonquin and explore it, the player will get 6 star wanted level, but no police officer will try to get him. Answering Roman's call will spook the dealer if the player is too close to him. Nico, it's your cousin. You want to shoot some pool? Shit, Roman. I can't talk now. Damn. Rejecting the call will not spook the dealer. A small part of this mission is seen in the Move Up Ladies trailer. In the trailer, Nico is seen wearing a suit from Perseus. But the Perseus is located in Algonquin, which is not unlocked at this point in the game. It suggests that this mission originally took place later in the game or that a Perseus store was located in Broker. The character who first appears in Faustin's house is the wedding assassin from the deal ending mission. Before this mission, Alejandro will not be seen working at the Internet Cafe on Oneida Avenue, and a man will be seen instead. Hey there, my name's Nico. My cousin, he told me to come here. Roman, he called me about you. If the player sticks around after the explosion, they can see the owner of the garage call Kenny Petrovich, and tell him it was definitely not an accident. for you. Brucey? I thought he was fucking joking. Shit! The mission's name, Search and Delete, is a reference to the Search and Destroy military strategy. Yeah! Man, I'm ready for you. I'm ready. I'm ready. If the player reverses the car into Brucey's garage, it will be facing in the opposite position in the final cut scene of the mission. Looks as good as it does. The only thing Brucey thinks is good looking is himself. 
in the mirror. Thanks. This is the only time in the game that Mikhail Faustin appears outside of cutscenes. Too kind! That's what I was! Too kind! I'll have the snap! You left a good friend of mine out of pocket. Big time. Hello, Nico. The mission's name is a reference to the Russian Revolution of 1917. Where is our money? I don't know. I didn't rob you. She's beautiful. You're like my mallet. Holy fuck, it's fucking burning! Doing this mission on a motorcycle will show different scenes. At the apartment, Nico and Roman will dismount the bike and Nico will block his cousin from entering the building. Fuck, it's fucking burning! The whole place! I've got to go in! I've got to get something! Leave it, Gus. This place is gone. They burnt it! They fucking burnt it, Nico! Hey, man. Hey, guys. Humorously, Nico's fake profile in Love Meat seems to have been written by both Roman and Brucey. Likes section mentioned steroids and VIP living, and the dislikes section lists hot women and titties. Rico, you wanna go on a date? This mission can be played even after completing the ending of the storyline. Intense! Intense! I fucking love you, man! Number one, good driving! How do I look? Pretty good, right? Yeah, pretty good. If the player takes too long to enter the warehouse, Manny will send an SMS telling the player to check out the skylight above the warehouse. If the player approaches the gang members in a car without any weapon, Nico will receive a pistol with 20 rounds. The rifle left on the roof must be taken even if Nico already has a sniper rifle. However, the player does not have to use the sniper rifle, and can use any other weapon without fail. <laughs> hey! Johnny! No! Come over here! This is the first appearance of Johnny Klebitz in the Grand Theft Auto series. In the beginning cutscene, Manny says, I'm a lord, not a lady, referring to a show in another Rockstar game, Max Payne. Man, who the hell ever heard of a metrosexual ex-gangster, man? I'm a lord, man, not a lady. This show is gonna make me famous. My lady, wait. My lord. My lady, this is a surprise finding you here. The mission's name is a reference to the cocaine that must be retrieved in the mission, as snow is a slang term for cocaine. I think I'm getting closer now. But there's one more cat me have to speak to. Shit! 
Speaking of fucking cops, I think I have company. I gotta go. Can you help me clean this mess up? There's a doctor in Broca who can help. Come on, let's put him in my car. Elizabeth tells Nico to visit the doctor in Broker. However, the doctor is located in Steinway, Dukes. If the blackmailer is killed while in the water, the mission will be completed and Nico will not gain a wanted level. Nico will call Francis to inform him that the evidence is underwater. Unlike other missions, the player can get to the lockup with a wanted level, and when the player parks the truck, the wanted level will disappear. They're clean as a fucking whistle. One previous owner. Strangely, during the cutscene, Gordon is left-handed. However, during the main part of the mission, he is right-handed. Yep, fortune favors the brave. During the cutscene, Derek is holding a pistol, but during gameplay, he uses an assault rifle. Michael! Save fucking Michael! Fucking shit! Get the money! When the player shoots the guard at the top of the stairs, he will roll down and use the Wilhelm scream. The way Nico refuses to work for $2,000 and asks for $5,000 is similar to a scene in Rockstar's another video game, Bully. Specifically in a mission, Jimmy Hopkins demands $5 when Algy offers to pay him $2 for a task. How much? Oh, how much? Good money. Uh, two G's. Two? You mean five. <laughs> Pretend we're friends. Walk with me. I'll pay. <laughs> I'll pay you two bucks. Two bucks? Are you crazy? Make it five. No. Two bucks? Great. Five bucks. Let's go, buddy. It's impossible to continue the mission without an sniper rifle. If Nico runs out the ammunition of the sniper rifle before killing or scaring Clarence's associate, the game will indicate that he must pick up one. This mission is the only time a black cavalcade with black rims can be acquired. The player can drive it back to the safe house without failing the mission. Strangely, the phone Nico receives from Playboy is a different, blockier phone. But Nico uses a different one. Take this, head down there, take a photo, send it to me, I'll point out which one of them motherfuckers it is. Are you 
the two snakes who played Dwayne Forge when he was in the joint? Hey, the mission's name is a reference to the real-life Rough Riders Motorcycle Club. The mission title is a reference to Brian De Palma's 1980 film Dress to Kill. Nico's voice actor, Michael Hollick, appeared in an episode of Law & Order, Special Victims Unit also titled Wrong is Right, in 2000. This mission's name is a reference to Patricia Cornwell's novel, Portrait of a Killer, Jack the Ripper, Case Closed. Despite Mallory being the boss of the mission, if the first try of the mission is failed, the retry text will be sent by Roman. You the world, gangster. This mission can be played even after completing the main storyline. Because of a glitch, the helicopter almost always spawns inside the helipad rather than on it. This can be witnessed by running up the stairs to the helipad prior to reaching the mission marker. Both Mavericks in this mission have unique colors. Player can save it in one of the safe house car parks at the end of the mission. The bomb can be exploded by shooting at it, but this will fail the mission. The title of the mission is a very obvious reference to the 1991 film Terminator 2, Judgment Day, where the Terminator speaks to a biker before stealing his clothes as well as his motorcycle. I don't know about that. I need your clothes, your boots, and your motorcycle. <laughs> If the police siren is not activated manually, it will be turned on automatically when arriving at Burger Shot, if the cutscene is not skipped. Ah! Teddy doesn't even need to be shot to kill him. The player can walk into Teddy and he will stumble back and fall. The player can't run out of rockets if they haven't blown up the Maverick. If only two left, the counter will always stay on three.
If the player pauses the game during the cutscene when Nico and Paki are talking on the phone in their trucks, the character arrow on the map will show a wrong location. Why don't we just kill the fucker there and then? That's probably what Derek would have told you to do in his smacked out state. Problem is, he's the first one they talk to if that happened. We gotta make this look like a prison break. Great! They're leaving the old cop- Derek! My brother! Frankie, what's this about? I've gotta say, I'm nervous about this little meeting. This is the only time in the game when Francis appears outside of cutscenes. Like I said, thanks. Give me a call sometime, Nico. This is the only chance to get a Romero in the game. I don't think you're going to need this. Of friends, important friends. Jimmy this mission is the only time in which Ashley Butler appears in the game. <laughs> hey, sweetheart. Hey. My God, you look like shit. What's wrong? Nothing. I haven't been to bed yet. I've been smoking crystal. You've been what? <laughs> When the player arrives at the waterfront in Castle Garden City, the Banshee will not be there until the cutscene plays. Doris, baby. We'll be our own bosses. Luca, I need that ice back. I don't know what you're talking about, Nikki. That's what I'm telling Ray. The game's up, boys. We're out of here. This is one of two occasions in the game where Nico hits a woman without the player's control. The other occasion is during the mission, Ransom. This is the last time Nico and Johnny have crossed paths. Hey, alright man. How's it going? Hey, good to see you again. Yeah, likewise. You took something that belonged to my employers. This is the last appearance of the Lost Motorcycle Club in GTA 4. Hey, why don't we see if we can keep up with some real American bikers? Hey, let's do this! Could they make this easy? There is no window cleaning platform behind the hotel before and after this mission. This is the only time when Roman encourages violence, telling Nico to beat up Talbot in order to get information out of him. I don't know what you're talking about. I've been head to head with this guy a few times, NB. I know his tells. He's lying. Roman, what's this about? He doesn't act well under pressure, NB. Beat him a little. All right, already. There's a guy I know likes to be called Florian Kravik at um certain moments. Hey, this mission can be done while on a friend activity. Where you been? I've been Jones for about five. Smile for your daddy, Grace. Fuck you! She don't play too nice up front. Gracie, Gracie, act nice now. You motherfuckers, I'll rip your cocks off! If the player severely damages the car and still makes it to the new safe house, there will be a unique cut scene. You got 
Tracy in the trunk, do you? Yeah. Shit, Nico, our neck's broke. Ah, fucking control your driving when the car goes this valuable. I'll be in touch. This. If the player reaches the park driving a bus, the bus will fall on Nico's head. If the player shoots the scripted police cruiser during the chase, Nico will attain wanted level as usual, but no more police will be alerted, and the officers won't fight back. At one point during the chase, the player is led between two ships that are closing together, which is a reference to a boat chase seen in the film, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. The truck driver cannot be killed before the player hangs on it, even if the player performs headshots. The truck's tires are also impervious to bullet fire. It is possible to kill Big Pete and Marco during the shootout. This will not fail the mission. A comet in this mission is scripted to appear while in the chase. This is one of the few times the comet appears in the game. But it is almost impossible to get it without failing the mission as it gives the Pavanos time to escape. The name of the mission is similar to the 1986 Coca-Cola slogan, Catch the Wave. Also they are carrying cocaine, which is named, Coke, in the mission. This mission has the shortest cutscene in the game. Factory off of Auger Street. The mission takes its name from the movie, To Live and Die in LA, which also features a lengthy car chase sequence. Packy telling Nico to take the low road while he takes the high road is a reference to the Bonnie Banks O Loch Lomond, a traditional Scottish song. The guy with the ice has gotta be this way. Let's split up. I'll take the high road and you take the low road. Will you take the high road and I'll take the low road? A locust this mission have a unique color, a red shade in black. It can be obtained by either passing or failing the mission. This is the only time that the player will be able to enter the restaurant, before and after this mission, it is inaccessible. Kim. He 
He's upstairs, speaking with the manager. During the cutscene that plays upon reaching the compound, the guard on the climbable building is holding a combat sniper, but after the cutscene, he has a carbine rifle. This is private back here. If Nico tries to go to Corrado's room in civilian clothing, a police officer will aim his gun at Nico and tell him that the room is off limits. However, if Nico returns wearing the hospital scrubs, officers will remember that he came before. Hey, I saw you Interestingly enough, Ray and his guards will wait for the traffic lights and act as normal civilians. Strangely, there is no Liberty Tree article on Ray and his guards' death. If the player executes Darko with a Desert Eagle, Nico will still shoot him 12 times without reloading. But the Desert Eagle only holds 9 rounds in a magazine. This is the only mission where Nico drinks alcohol, as he orders vodka on the rocks. Nico, good to see you. You, how are you? <laughs> Fucking terrible. Rightfully out. An unlimited amount of barrels fall out the back of the truck. They can be seen spawning back into the truck during the chase. After completing this mission and saving the game, the save title will be, in mourning, instead of Mr. and Mrs. Bellick, in reflection of Roman's death. Dimitri's Maverick will always catch fire, even if the player deals no damage to it. If the player has less than three bullets in the clip of gun, Nico will reload during the cutscene. But Dimitri's body will still act as if he was shot three times in succession. I don't mean to start now. You don't need to do this. I should have put you out of your misery a long time ago. Goodbye, Dimitri. If Nico arrives at the wedding without a suit, he will be instructed to get one. Kate will wait with Bernie, little Jacob, Brucey, and Roman. Nico, what are you doing? I told you to dress up! We will wait. Go and change, quickly! I'll wait for you here, Nico. I'd like to get to know the groom.
The Annihilator in this mission has a missing tail blade. This also occurs in the mission, Revenger's Tragedy. We won, man! We won! <laughs> 